Hi, this is question four for my opening title sequence evaluation, which is what have you learnt about technologies in the process of constructing this project? Well, there were a lot of new things I had to learn in the process of making this opening title sequence because I hadn't used things like a professional camera, well, I mean, a DSLR or a tripod or even Premiere. So let's start off with the tripod. <laughs> a new thing to me because during my preliminary task, I was using a desk chair, as I've said a few times before, and there were very clear differences between using a desk chair um, and a tripod as it was easy to film what I needed to film in my preliminary task because with a, with a desk chair because it was um, in, a, in a small room and very tight shots had to be made and there wasn't a lot of movement um, involved so um, there was one point at the beginning I did a sort of pan over which was fine because it's just a small thing the desk chair can swivel and the, the shots were very close up and tight so I didn't necessarily need a lot of space so yeah it wasn't really a huge problem I was able to improvise well for that and but the chair couldn't do things like pan up and down as opposed to panning left and right which it can do because you can spin it around but not only was using a tripod a new thing for me using a DSLR was a new thing for me and because I had purchased a 1200D DSLR it was you couldn't film and focus on it so instead of auto focusing I, which I couldn't do I had to manually focus every time I framed up a shot and speaking of framing a shot that was another thing I had to practice um, because sometimes it would be too far away which I noticed in my test shots or too close or not necessarily straight so I had to practice doing that too another thing that was hard was uh, angles it was particularly hard when it came to doing all the forest shots because I had to get all different types of angles from of her running what kind of angles imply what sort of scene is happening uh, that sort of thing had to be thought about really well and because time was money um, and the wind was blowing all my sheets away and the control of like the height of the tripod to go back to the tripod that was another issue but you know the forest floor didn't necessarily make that easy because it was different levels so even if you had adjusted the height at one point you would have to readjust it if you move the tripod another place because it might be that the, the floor is uneven or there's a twig in the way or something like that so a lot of attention had to be paid to the tripod and the camera very technical now not only were those types of technologies hard to use but there was a lot of thought that had to go into sound even though there was I didn't necessarily need a microphone I had to think about forest sounds and c conflicting with like the less natural sounds that were in the background sometimes there were cars in the background and I had to wait to record just to get the sound so that maybe I can detach it from a clip and put it in to make that more natural sound. Um, sometimes there'd be a bird maybe in the background or some sort of animal in the background making a sound and I'd record that just so I could have something there. Sometimes it didn't come out so well, maybe sometimes it did and it worked and I realized I, I thought I would have needed a microphone for this but I figured that I didn't necessarily need to enhance the sound unnaturally uh, unnaturally so I just used the normal camera microphone because um, because time but, yeah because of time and because of where we were located I probably would have picked out other unnatural sounds with a microphone as well as the natural sounds that I did want. Um, clips that had good sounds were swapped with clips that had bad natural sounds. And I would have a screenshot of that, but unfortunately things happened to my um, 
to the pictures for those. So I'm going to draw what it kind of looks like on Premiere. I'm pretty sure you can imagine. If not, then it kind of looks like this. There would be your clip, your good clip, and your good sound. Sometimes a good clip would be there, but it would have really bad sound. So all I'd have to do is cut out the bad sound and then swap it for the good sound. Or copy it, in fact. Copying it is fine. As long as it sounds, it doesn't sound too, it doesn't sound obvious that it's been copied. Maybe you can cut out a bit that's distinctly, um, distinctly similar in terms of like the sound if you've copied it. So a piece of a good clip would have good sound. Maybe I'd copy another bit of sound and mix it up a little bit so that it doesn't sound exactly the same. So um, yeah, sound, I had to put a lot of thought into sound even though it wasn't, there wasn't a lot to think about. Most of it was non-diegetic, but diegetic sound was hard to control. But to come to non-diegetic sound, I had to record a voiceover as well for my opening title sequence because I realised that the story might be a bit more clear if we understand the thoughts of what's going on. And here's a little bit of what that sounded like when I was recording it with my sister. Brilliant. I'm going for it. I... That was really good. Just for safety, we'll do it a couple more times. Okay. Use the blue mic so that I can uh, make sure the sound was of the best quality I could possibly make it in terms with what I had. And I also had to think about editing. Now, I needed special effects. I thought I might need special effects because this character is very imaginative and I'm going to have to make some of the unimaginable, uncreatable, creatable. So I made this dream sequence a bit blurry and um, the gradient a bit different so that it could probably give hints that it was a dream. And I also added widescreen bars because I thought that's how the character in the opening title sequence would envision this sort of thing to make it a bit more dramatic. And animating titles just sort of seems like the sort of fun, excited element that childlike element that the child provokes sd cards uh space storage all that kind of thing was also had to have deep thought because you need to make sure you're saving stuff constantly and that everything has a place to be stored because if you lose it it's very dangerous and yeah there's another bit of technology that you sort of forget about and underestimate sometimes but you realize it's a very important factor of technology. <laughs>